Welcome back to Web Cafe AI. We do daily ChatGPT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the app of Google Slides and specifically how we can leverage that with AI and Zapier. If you're new to the channel, welcome here at Web Cafe AI. We do a ton of stuff when it comes to AI automation, and this specific video is going to go into our playlist about essentially us tackling all 5,000 apps on Zapier and showing how AI integrates with every single one. So make sure to subscribe, stay tuned for that kind of content. From here, we're gonna create our new Zap and then we're gonna simply call it the Google Slides integration Zap. And from here, as always, you can find the Zap down in the description below. So in today's context, we're gonna go ahead and use Google Slides and one of the specific actions found in Google Slides, which is gonna be basically setting up a new slide presentation off a template. So we're going to start off with just a simple trigger of a scheduler. So maybe there is some context where you want to make this, you know, different slide presentation every X, Y, Z day. We're going to go ahead and do every day and go continue. And then time of day, we'll just go ahead and proceed with noon, continue, test this action. And then as you know, essentially, maybe you want your trigger to be different. Maybe you want to make it a Google form an email coming in. Maybe the data found within that trigger is actually pretty pertinent to the end result of your presentation. Keep that in mind when building out your presentation. But from here, we're going to go ahead and add a chat GPT block here. And we're going to go ahead and say conversation, continue, continue. And then before we flesh out the user message, let's go ahead and build our template over on Google slides. Now, the first most important thing to ensure is that the Google slide presentation that's going to be your template is found within a folder that essentially is going to be a folder that anyone with the link has access to. So that's the first part that is important. Once we have dived into our template here, what we can do essentially is a couple things when it comes to integrating it with Zapier and ChatGPT. First thing we can do is set variables within the text. So we're going to go ahead and set this variable to title. And then we're going to set this uh, other variable the subtitle to subtitle essentially what this is going to allow us to do is input uh, variable text depending on you know how we want that text to look all right perfect so we have our variable text here let's go ahead and proceed with making ai integrate with zapier before we go ahead and enter all the information that's required in our user message let's go ahead and build out our google presentation block real quick so we're going to do google presentation or google slides i mean and then from here, we're gonna go ahead and choose an event. We're gonna say, create presentation from template. We continue here and we're gonna make sure we sign in. Once you sign in, you'll be prompted to essentially choose the account. For us, we're gonna be using our courses account here at Web Cafe AI. We're gonna go ahead and get the name of the presentation. For us, that is template example here. And then we're gonna go ahead and ensure that it is shared. I'm gonna go ahead and say true. And then we're gonna go ahead and choose the template presentation. Template example, I mean. And then from here, as you see, our variables appear. Now, a couple of things I want to clarify here. First off, the title of the new presentation. You can do anything here. So let's just say final results. So we understand that there's going to be a differentiation between the original and non-original. And then from here, you can choose basically whether you want to share it or not in the context of anyone with a link can get access to that presentation. All right, so since we set up our template, we have our Google Slides ready to go. Let's go ahead and create our chat GPT message. So we're just going to do something simple here. We're going to say context. This is a business presentation for how we can sell reusable straws. They say generate a presentation or what's it? We even go further. Would we'll make it very specific. Google slides title and subtitle for the first slide and then we're going to go ahead and upper model to GPT-4. This may not be really necessary in this specific context, but I like using GPT-4 for content specific situations here. We're going to go ahead and hit continue here, and we may need to format this a little bit better, but for now, let's go ahead and see what the output will be. All right, perfect. So as you see below me, we got the title, the future of sustainable ship sipping, boosting sales with eco-friendly reusable straws. Okay, so we have an issue though, as we see with the title and subtitle, let's go ahead and see if we can add a parameters um block here in order to ensure that doesn't incur so we're gonna say parameters just generate the title and subtitle no text before or after if this doesn't work i have another solution here we can use which will essentially require a formatter block from zapier but let's go ahead and see if this works all right so that didn't work in this context 
that's completely fine let's go ahead and add a formatter block and you'll learn something new in this tutorial so let's go ahead and add a formatter block here and we're going to go ahead and choose the event of text and what we'll do is a couple things the first thing we're going to do is we're going to split so we're going to do split split text and we're going to do the input of what was just incurred there which is right here and then we're going to do the separator as essentially new line so we're going to do uh, square bracket new line square bracket and i believe yes okay so we're gonna add these two little dots here and then from here we're gonna do a segment index of all separate fields we're gonna hit continue we're gonna test this action and essentially the purpose of this is to separate the two data points as seen here we got item one item two therefore this is gonna allow us to input it correctly from here we're gonna add another formatter block and then this specific formatter block is gonna be for the purpose of removing that title and subtitle that is found within the text so we're gonna go ahead and come down back over here we're gonna do replace and then we're going to input the first one which is gonna be title we're gonna find title and then we're gonna re just replace it with empty space so we just get the title of the presentation without it identifying that it is a title because there's no purpose of that right so one thing we can do real quick to make our lives easier is we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this because we already have it kind of formatted how we want to let's go ahead and delete that and then we're going to do the second line, which is going to be the subtitle. And we're going to make sure we update this to subtitle. And then we're going to hit continue, continue. And actually, let's test that action to ensure that is correct. So we're going to test this action. And then it should remove subtitle here. And then give it perfect. All right, from here, we're going to go ahead and insert our variables. And one thing I want to mention is that if we didn't use those formatting blocks before, and we just inputted the conversation from ChatGPT, look what would occur. That would have happened we would have the not only the title found in the beginning right here this title the semicolon but also both those data blocks would be connected so you'd have it in just one string and it wouldn't look well right because the title is supposed to be the title and the subtitle is supposed to be the subtitle so in this context now that we have formatted it correctly we can go ahead and put the title right there and go ahead and put the subtitle right there and then if i hit continue and test that action we should get a presentation that's built off a template and uses gpt to input variable text okay perfect so as you see above me right there we have our presentation it is named final resort like we requested it to be and then on top of that it adds the specific title that we identified the future of sustainable sipping and the subtitle of revolutionizing the market with usable straws reusable straws as you can see this can get way more complex in theory we could have 10 to 20 slides here all with input data ready to go and then build out ChatGPT flows that essentially inputs that data depending on whatever the context is of the trigger but for now that is what i wanted to show you in this tutorial if you feel like you learned something make sure to like the video it's completely free and it helps us here at web cafe ai if you're interested in learning more about ai automation and how to leverage that with zapier and ChatGPT, check out the playlist at the end of this video as we do a entire series on identifying ways ai can integrate with all 5,000 apps found on zapier but for now i'll see you in the next video thanks for tuning in and yes surprise i'm an ai avatar make sure to explore more here at web cafe where we demystify ai for your personal and business life until next time